Hey my dear data friends, it's Nicola from Data Mozart. In one of the previous videos I've explained what is a query folding in Power BI and why it is important to understand this concept. Now in this video I'll show you how some subtle differences in your Power Query transformation steps can cause break of query folding and consequentially have huge impact on the performance of your Power BI reports. Stay tuned as we are going to make some music from the data. One of the most common transformations in Power Query is changing data type. It's a well-known best practice to use proper data types in your data model. For example, if you don't need hours, minutes and seconds level of granularity in your reports, you should be better off getting rid of them and change the date type of that column from date time to date only. However, the road to hell is paved with good intentions, so let me show you one subtle difference that can cause your query to become damn slow, even though you stick with the recommendation to use a proper date type. I'm in the Power Query Editor within the Power BI Desktop. And here I'm using Contoso Sample Database. As you can see here, my date key column here is of date time data type. Let me show you here. So it's date time data type. And I want to switch to date only. There are at least two possible options to do this. The first one is to right click on the column, select this change type and then instead of date time, click on date. Ok, I'll do this and you see that this time portion was removed from the column. A few important things happened here, so let me explain each of those. First, in the applied steps pane, you can notice that our transformation step has been recorded. In the column itself, you can see that the time portion disappeared. And when I open, when I right click on the last step and click view native query option which is enabled, I can see that the mashup engine nicely translated my transformation to a T-SQL convert function. Last but not least, the M formula applied to this transformation step is table.transform column types. Ok, I will now delete this and let's examine the other option of changing date type of our column. So again right click on this column and just below this change type I will I'll use transform this time and click on date only. Again time portion disappeared. So it looks quite similar but let's again walk through all the things that happen now. Instead of the change type step we now have a step called extracted date. The column itself looks exactly the same as in the previous example. No time part in here. Oops. If I right click here, uh, view native query option is disabled, so that means that this query doesn't fold anymore. And this time M formula applied is table.transform columns. So just pay attention, last time we had table.transform column types and this time we have table.transform columns. Just one single world make the difference so that our query doesn't fold anymore. And stay tuned, I will show you what is the difference uh, for data refresh process when the query faults or not faults. So let's apply some transformations to our original table. And let's say that I want first to expand dim customer table and take for example first name, last name and gender from this table. That's fine. Then as a next step I want to perform a transformation to my first name column and I want to do uppercase of the first name, that's fine. Then after that let's go and perform a changing of data type from date time to date, like we did in the first case previously. Then I'll go to, for example, dim product and uh, grab a brand name from this table find uh, then I want to calculate absolute value of the sales amount here so some of those transformation steps doesn't have much sense in real world but that, that's just to demonstrate uh, the implications of uh, breaking query folding then let's filter our total cost 
column and keep only those rows that are greater than let's say uh, five okay then I will go and remove column ETL load ID so I will just remove it then I will go and replace in my gender column I will do replace values and I want to replace M with value male you see that it was applied and then finally let's keep only those rows where um, sales amount is greater than for example greater than uh, 500 okay I'll click OK and if I check this on this last step uh, within the our query applied steps you see that view native query option is enabled so if we click on it let's expand this window and you can see that a mashup engine was able to generate a single SQL statement that is going to be executed on the data source side so you see this where clause here where sales amount greater than 500 and you can see all the other transformations nicely translated to T-SQL for example using upper function or convert function in T-SQL and uh, for example calculating absolute value replacing M with male etc etc so this is maybe not the the most readable SQL but it's correct SQL and if I hit now close and apply let's wait for a few seconds for Power BI to apply those changes to our data model and you can notice that Power BI loads data in batches of around 100,000 or more rows per batch and in the end we got something like 1.5 million rows uh, in our filtered data model and it took around maybe 15-20 seconds to load now let's go back to transform data to our power query editor and let's intentionally break our query folding so here instead of changing type with foldable transformation i will do exactly the same things uh, so everything stays the same just here instead of using change type i will use transform and then i will use date only yes i want to insert this step and in the end you will see that if i right click on this last step view native query option is disabled so query folding was uh, broken here in this step let's go again and hit close and apply and wait for a few seconds to for power bi to apply those changes so the first thing you will notice is that batches of rows that are being loaded is much smaller so instead of having like 100,000 rows per batch now we have maybe 30 40,000 per row that's the first indicator that maybe your query folding is broken and that you should investigate that in more details but what happened now so why power power bi didn't stop and load only 1.8 1.5 million records we know how many records we have here so basically what happened here which is even worse than loading uh, rows in batches of 30 40 thousand uh, what happened here is that power bi or, uh, or to be more specific mashup engine needs to pull all the data from the underlying database so it needs to pull all like 11 or 12 million rows from our fact table and then apply all our transformations on top of those 11 12 million rows so that's uh, that will make a huge impact on the performance and on resource consumption so keep that in mind and keep in mind why query folding is so uh, important in first case you saw that in 15 20 seconds our data model was refreshed now we will need to wait i think at least two minutes to achieve the same result so here we are 11 million rows and it took around three minutes for those 11 million rows to be loaded into power bi and then you should see that in the end we get exactly the same result here as total records because all of our transformation steps 
will be applied on top of those 11 million rows. That's it. So keep in mind, uh, query folding is extremely important and powerful feature and always try to achieve it when you are doing uh, your data transformations within Power Query Editor. That's all folks. If you enjoyed this video, please click on that like button down below. Even better, you can subscribe to Data Monster channel and enjoy more cool Power BI and data videos. Thank you.